How many reps should I do? This is a question that we hear quite often. We know a lot of you have already asked this yourselves. However, the most important point when it comes to the rep range is, how does your main goal look like? Do you want to build up muscle mass? Do you want to focus on strength? Do you want to improve your strength endurance? Or do you want to learn difficult skills? such as handstand push-ups, muscle-ups or planche. First of all, you need to know that the rep range can be divided into three different goals. First, training for pure strength. Second, training for hypertrophy. Third, training for strength endurance. The rep ranges for each one are 1 to 5 reps for pure strength, 6 to 14 reps for hypertrophy, and 15 to 25 reps for strength endurance. Of course, these rep ranges don't work strictly separated to each other. It's more like a fluid transition between them, but the more you move away from the pure strength or the strength endurance range, the less improvements you will have in these categories. When it comes to hypertrophy training, it's a bit different. Hypertrophy works in nearly all rep ranges, with a peak in the 8-12 to 12 rep range and the lowest effect at the beginning of the pure strength and the end of the strength endurance range. So for pure strength and strength endurance, it's very clear how you can improve your performance. Just pick the best rep range and train with it. For hypertrophy, we suggest you to experiment with different ranges and get the most out of it by variety. Another important factor for hypertrophy is training to failure, because there are two main requirements for building muscle mass. The mechanical load and the metabolic stress. Mechanical load is reached by a specific resistance that shouldn't be too low or too high. Metabolic stress is caused by training to failure. That doesn't mean to go all out in every set, but at least in the last set and in every exercise. Now everything should be clear, right? You know which rep range to use for which goal, so just pick one and start. Well, you also need to know that this rep scheme is designed for 4 seconds for each rep. The problem is that nearly nobody does it this way. And that's why you shouldn't only take an eye on the reps, but also on the time under tension. So here is a better scale for you. 4 to 20 seconds for pure strength, 24 to 56 seconds for hypertrophy and 60 to 100 seconds for strength endurance. Of course it's still important to do a certain amount of reps, because super slow training is not the best way, neither for pure strength, hypertrophy or strength endurance training. So you should try different rep speeds and look what is best for you. In general, we recommend 3 to 4 seconds for each rep with the right total time under tension adapted to your goal. An exception to this would be explosive strength training. Therefore, it's very important to train in a low rep range with a very quick rep speed and staying far away from fatigue. The next thing that you should keep in mind is that some rep ranges have benefits for others. Strength endurance, for example, will help with the capillarization and a better supply for your muscles. Strength endurance training is also great to give your tendons, ligaments and bones a rest. A rest from the heavy load they have to deal with while doing a training for pure strength with very high intensities. We suggest to focus on the range you want to improve at, but also implement the others from time to time. For example, one session per week or one workout with different rep ranges every now and then. Of course, we don't forget about the skills. 
Skill training is a bit different. There are skills which require more intermuscular coordination instead of strength, like the handstand. There are also skills which require more strength than intermuscular coordination, like the front lever. And there are skills which are a mix between both. The handstand push-up is a great example for that. The more strength you need for a skill, the lower the rep range gets. If something is quite easy for you in terms of strength, you can do a lot of reps, because you won't exhaust yourself that much. So if you want to train for skills like front lever, planche or handstand push-ups, we recommend a lower rep range and connected with that a low time under tension, without going to fatigue. We don't say to never go to failure with skill training, but it should be a rare part of your training. We now show you some workout examples of the different rep ranges, so that you can imagine how it looks like.
Alright guys, this was a short overview of how many reps you should do for different goals. Now it's your turn to find out what works best for you. If you want to test it, you could use our workout programs. They include different methods and different rep ranges to reach different adaptations for strength, hypertrophy and strength endurance. Of course we have a Christmas sale for you. We give you 20% discount on all workout bundles from the 22nd to 26th of December. So visit the Kelly Move website now and choose your bundle. Thanks, Alex.